Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about Samurai Sharpen for Video, one of our new plugins, and specifically the Blend Group, and explain what these do. It's a great way of dealing with artifacts that are generated from over sharpening. In this case, we're going to take this footage, which we've applied Samurai to. See the sharpening. And use the Blend Group to dial back parts of it so that it's not as over sharpened and much less likely to cause artifacts when we're playing this back on screen. First, let's talk a little bit about what the Blend Group is. Specifically, it's dealing with halos. Now, when you sharpen, you get halos. And the halos are these white lines right here or the dark line on this edge. And anytime you're doing sharpening, you're creating a contrast adjustment. And the halos are what creates those adjustments. Usually, you should not see them. We're kind of making them stand out just to make a point here. And we can actually see what the halos are. You'll see them grow and shrink as I adjust the radius. It's these black and lighter areas. And as I adjust the radius, you can see the halos getting larger or smaller. And so what the blend group does is it allows you to adjust one side or the other of those halos. So if I adjust the blend shadow opacity, you can see that the dark areas get much lighter until I'm basically dealing with the original image. And so I can change this and dial in exactly the amount of darkness that I want there. And likewise, I can do that with the highlight side. Again, dialing that all the way down or somewhere in between. So this is kind of an exaggerated example of what it does. Obviously, if you're looking for some crazy film effect or look or something, you can use Samurai to accomplish that. But usually this is not what you're gonna be using it for. Usually you're gonna use it something like what we have here with our slow motion umbrella footage. Turn off Samurai, we can play this back. And we're a big fan of slow motion around here and so this made a good clip. Specifically because you've got lots of these sort of water explosions. You can see that it's got very shallow depth of field. This area over here is very sharp. You can zoom in a bit. But it quickly falls off into good depth of field. However, in this case, because we've got these really interesting kind of water explosions, I don't want as much depth of field. So I really want to sharpen these areas. And so I can do that with Samurai. So we'll turn Samurai on. And one thing I'll call out is that we are using the edge mask strength and we are also using the shadow mask. Those are explained elsewhere, so I'm not gonna go into them. Uh, we have other tutorials on those things. But I just wanna point out that we are using the edge mask strength to isolate just the significant edges. And then we're using the mask to prevent the darker areas, like here, which are mostly just noise from being sharpened. So very important components to sharpening here and some of the great features of Samurai Sharpen. But let's focus on the blend group. So if I have these at the default, which are both, they both default to 100. You can see that I've got a pretty high amount value here. And this is giving us good sharpening on these areas that we care about. So my water explosions are a little bit sharper than they were. Makes them a little bit more interesting. But the problem is that this area that was already sharp is now really over sharpened. I turn this on, you can see we're getting these really bright highlights. And so the nice thing about the blend group is I can now dial back the opacity of just those highlights and reduce the over sharpening in that area. And you can see the difference if I go back and forth here with no adjustment. 
with highlight opacity at 50% and so on. It's just a really easy way of fine tuning your sharpening and getting exactly the look that you're going for. And now if we play that back, you can see that I've got much more sharpening happening where the water explosions are going on. And the area down here, which was already sharp, is not over sharpened. So these are just a great way of being very precise about the adjustments you're making to your sharpening. And again, getting exactly the look that you want that's gonna work for your footage. And obviously the blend shadow opacity works in the same way, just with the darker halos. In this case, that was not a problem, but you may find footage where you want to adjust the shadow halos as well. But in this case, it was just the highlights. So hopefully you found this informative, gave you a little bit of info on how that blend group works and why you would want to use it. It's a fairly subtle adjustment, but it can be very critical to making sharpening work on a video. So thanks for joining me. Definitely head over to our website. We have more tutorials there, plenty of demo filters of our other products, as well as a bunch of free filters. Lots of cool stuff on digitalanarchy.com. So please head over there and check it out and see you in the next tutorial.